Hi friends. Uh, we will consider the same material number uh, uh, 0, uh, 024 and we will now change two fee at one time in the, mater the material number. So I am in transaction code SE16 and I have opened the table CDSDR. Okay, and I will do F8. If you see here, there are eight entries which are existing. Now what we will do is we will open MN02 and we will edit the material. I'll select basic data one and two. Here I will change the old material number as old one and in division field or let's say in gross weight field, I will put quantity as 10. And we will click on save now. Let's come back to CDSDR table and let us refresh it. Now there are nine entries. We will open another session, SC16, CD for table. The type is MAT star, and I will select this change number, star 024, and let's do F8. If you see here, there are now three entries which we, which have come over here. There is one table which is B Marin. Let's just keep it aside now. And there are two entries for Mara table. One is for field this month. The old value was old match change again, and the new value is old one. And here, if you see. There is a new field BRGEW for the gross weight. The quantity was zero over here and now it has become 10. At the same time, there is one more table DMRN which also got updated. So the similar entry has come. So if you see friends, if someone goes and uh, edits a master data, in this case it's a master data and edits multiple fields, those uh, multiple field entries will be logged in CD for. Now this is used when it comes to workflow or you have some reports wherein you have to log the changes which have taken place in critical uh, material master or transaction. These two tables, CD SDR and CD for are used. Thank you.